Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2385, Super Bowl Squares. Hey, this is going to be probably of more interest for my American friends, but there's an interesting twist that happened this year on this long-standing game uh, that's going to change the percentages. Let's take a look. As we're coming up to Super Bowl 55, and this classic game that's been played probably since Super Bowl I at VFW Hall, Super Bowl parties, and the workplace break room. We start out with 100 squares here, and it's very important that these uh, left column and top row are completely blank. And we start to sell squares, $10 a square, you write your initial in, and then after the squares are sold, uh, some method to put the numbers one through 10 randomly down the left-hand side. Now this formula here uses the sequence function to generate 10 numbers and then sort by uh, to sort them randomly. And then the same formula up here, but transpose. All right now, as a Super Bowl is being played, uh, what you do is at the end of each quarter, so first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and the end of the game, you take the score. Let's just say uh, this weekend it's Chiefs 10, Bucks 7 at the end of the, the first quarter. So you take the last digit, so zero for the Chiefs, seven for the Bucks. Chiefs here at zero, uh, Buccaneers at seven, and whoever bought that square gets a pretty nice payout, maybe 200 or $250, usually 200 because then at the end of Q4, they double up and that person gets 400 or something like that. Now, the important thing to know here, all squares are not created equal. And in just a crazy data mining exercise covering 54 years worth of data, I downloaded every score from every Super Bowl up to this point. The reason that each square is not created equal is because in American football, the most common score is a touchdown with a single extra point for seven or a field goal for three. But then you also have, over the last 54 Super Bowls, sometimes a touchdown with no extra point or a touchdown with two extra points or even just a safety. All right. And so the combinations of touchdowns and field goals uh, leads to this traditional heat map where 0, 0 is the best square. Like maybe that's 10, 0 or 10, 20. Very easy to get to those kinds of scores combining maybe a touchdown and a field goal. Touchdown for seven, field goal for three or over here the uh three zero or seven three uh seven zero the the numbers that tend to end in threes zeros and sevens at least have a better chance of paying off in the first quarter but the whole reason that i made this and the whole reason that i went down this path is because this year in 2021 there is a huge promotion going on in the united states from rocket mortgage they have a different version of super bowl squares where they're paying out $50,000, but not at the end of the quarter, right? That's an important difference. They're paying after every score change, including, let's say, the Chiefs score first, get a touchdown, that gives them six, and then they kick an extra point. They're paying 50,000 after the six, and then 50,000 after the seven. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's pretty wild. Let's see how that changes things. So I took that data that I downloaded from the internet, which only included the scores after the extra point or the two point conversion. And I added in one less or two less, depending on whether or not it said that there was a kick or two point conversion. And I ended up with this larger data set. And now the score uh, most common is a touchdown for six, but then the second most common is a single point extra kick for one. And that changes things dramatically. So down here, remember, just for reference, this is the matrix, the heat map for only scores at the end of the quarter. And up here is the rocket mortgage. Now this right here is a great place to press pause because when you play this game and you get your squares, you know, that's the point at which you'll know what you happen to randomly be assigned. And you can come here and see, you know, what your chances are of being entered for a chance to win. With rocket mortgage, they take all the people that had that square and... I think there's a drawing or something like that. It's fascinating. There's a few scores that actually have zero chance of winning. If you happen to be in the 5-5 five, five square, I guess it's possibly 35-35. It just hasn't ever happened in the 54 games up till now. All right. So this will kind of depress you depending on which square you ended or make you think that you have a good chance of possibly winning. All right. So there's the two different versions, the rocket mortgage after every score or the traditional at the end of the quarter. All right, so there you go, the uh, qu quick analysis of your Super Bowl square sheet. Hey, we'll be back in two days on February 3rd for our entry in Excel hash. That is going to be a lot of fun. Check out my book, Mr. Excel 2020. Click that I in the top right-hand corner. If you like these tips, like, subscribe, 
and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the YouTube comments below. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.